Hi guys, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today we are going to unbox the brand new can am Spider Passenger Backrest. Just got this box today um, from can am BRP. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna show you a full review on it, how to put it on, installation, what's included in the box, all about it. All right, let's get into it. And this knife is not working very well. Let's see. So excited, been waiting on it for a while now. Seems like there's two boxes in here. Hmm. All right, after an hour trying to get this box out, we finally got the first box out. Now we're into the second box. All right. Let's get that done. What we got in here? We got the first piece. I'm gonna take it out. That's the actual backrest here. More foam. That's the actual bracket that gets on the back of the backrest. Get mounted. All right. And that's the box that has the tools, um, the bolts and the stuff. Other than that, nothing else left in here. So the second box, it had the two mounting sides, the left and right. It's already assembled fully like this. That's the right side and this is the left side just like that okay two of them third thing here you got a actual instructions in here all right instructions from canam with some bolts nuts and washers to mount and then now uh, there's four uh, plastic c-clips okay and here we go. The main thing in the whole story is the actual backrest. All right. Um, good materials, soft. All right. Looks pretty cool. Um, it's all wrapped up in plastic here and kind of like leather, plastic materials. I think it's pretty good. And obviously, the instructions that comes from KNAM, it has the uh, pictures for an installation show you step by step but i'll show you that in video today with all the steps and how i'm going to put it on and i'll tell you how it feels is it really worth it is it a good product or not easy to remove um all these things so let's go take it out put it on the bike show you guys how we're going to put it together all right so we got these four bolts right here we're gonna use two, we're gonna use these four bolts right here to mount the metal bracket onto the actual backrest. There's two short and two that are um, long. The two short ones goes on top and then two long goes on the bottom. Also, each one of these gets a washer, okay? with it has that yellow Loctite on. All right, disregard the rest, these the rest of the stuff right here, the spacers, the plastic spacers, and the four bolts, it's gonna get used on the motorcycle later on. We're just gonna put the actual backrest together now. All right. So the first thing is we put that metal bracket on the back of the backrest. We put these two M8 by 30 Torx bolt all right the small ones that we talked about at the beginning so these two bolts gonna get put on only don't put the bottom ones yet we're gonna put the top on only and we'll show you the next step the next step is we get the actual side mounting brackets the right and left and you get it mounted right here in this hole okay so you get it and you slide it right underneath here okay 
just like that and you put the long screw in of course you line it up like that and then you torque it on and then you have it just like this so after torquing it that's the way that it looks like the two right and left handles are on all right that's the way it looks like the brackets are on we torqued the back bolts using the T40 torques one two three four also make sure that the washers are on very important all right now let's take it outside and put it on the bike and we'll show you how to do that all right here we are now at the bike we're gonna follow the steps to show you how to install the backrest on first step is we're gonna get over here and install the key in the ignition and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this to the right side and pull on the seat so the seat comes off just like this what we're gonna do right here there is always that little tether and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off all right so you can get actually rid of the seat you can either set it aside all right now you have it looking like that so the second step is we're gonna get that allen wrench that fits right here and we're gonna loosen up these bolts two on each side two on the right two on the left so we can take handlebars out when we do that is loosen them up all right so better than having the L wrench if you have a socket number six with an extension and an actual ratchet wrench you will make your life much easier just by removing these bolts so easy all right just like that on both sides crack it loose here we go five seconds and it's off all right so when we removed the bolts from each handlebars on each side now they're both removed these bolts that came out from them these are pretty much garbage you're not going to use these because they have a four extra bolts for you that are different size in the kit with the backrest that you're going to have to use so so these pretty much are just going to go in the garbage there is no use for them okay so here comes the tricky part there is four plastic spacers that comes with the actual kit I have installed two on this side already and that's the way that it's going to look like it's pretty much you push it over and it slides on the side one of them going to be facing that direction the other one facing the other okay east and west this one pointing this way this one pointing that way so you can have the way that they are pushed on the way that it goes on is pretty much that part slides over and you push it over on so you have a spacer that's installed on both sides. The same thing goes on this direction. Put it on, slide it over. Same thing, this is gonna be facing, like I said, east and west. Pushed over, slide like that, and there it is. Now, we're gonna move on to the next step. Pretty much, you're gonna put everything back on the same way it was. The washers on the inside stays on gets installed in this way all right the new bolt with the washer and the spacer that was already on your bike goes back to where it was same thing on this one over here so we lined up the bolts correctly um, make sure you hand start them um, you push that little tab back to where it was and then over that hole obviously if you have the heated seats that comes with a the wire then you plug it back in if you don't you don't have to and we're gonna torque it back in so now after we have finished putting on the two handlebars on on each side torque them to the proper torque on each side they're both tight put these back in their slots now we are going to install the backrest we already 
pre-assembled it and we have torqued the bolt on the back mounting bracket. Two on top, two on bottom, like we said, two short on the top and then the two long on the bottom. Now the only key to this is these two slots are gonna get pushed in. Pretty much they're spring loaded. So what you do is you come at it like this and you line it up with the front brackets. And what you do is you apply pressure on it with your body like this. And then it pretty much slides in. And then you let it go. And there it is. It's already on, slides right in, looks great. The other thing is right here, we have that safety feather. So this goes on right in that bracket, tuck it right in, get that wire off the way. Same on that side, tuck it back in. And then once this is all on, let's get our ratchet out of the way and get the seat on. When you get the seat on, make sure you click this back on the bottom all right for safety click it back on okay the way the seat gets mount is there's two um little mounting brackets on the front that gets tucked in and then make sure you line it up properly okay that nothing gets in your way and then you click on it it's right in and here it is you got it the backrest the seat is on everything is locked in place let's test it let's sit on it see how it feels even though i don't sit on it my girlfriend is going to test it out she's filming right now she's behind the camera she's going to sit on it she's going to test it for me pretty much it's comfortable i think it's very well made of the materials are great and you just feel like you're sitting on your couch, just like that, you know? I think we're all done with this now. Okay, if you wanna ride solo and you don't need this, you do the exact same stuff. What you're gonna do is insert the key in there and then you're gonna remove, when you're gonna turn like that, okay? And remove the seat from the spot, same thing. Gonna do the same same steps remove this off set it to the side so simple so easy come on the back and you apply pressure on both sides together and here it is then removed all right just like that and it's free you can set it aside you can set it in your garage and you don't have to put it on put your seat back on you're good to go and here it is full backrest on all right installed looks pretty cool slick i don't think it really affects on the look of the bike i think it looks pretty well it's the way it is Very nice. Here it is, guys. We got it all sold. We got it all put together. Um, I think it's pretty good material. Soft, comfortable. Um, it's not a cheap stuff. Yes, it's probably a lot of money, uh, over $600 for this backrest, but I think it's really worth the money to invest, especially if you have a, uh, a second uprider over here, um, your wife, your girlfriend, your, your friend, whoever you got, your kids that on the back you want to make sure that they are safe and secured with a backrest better than just um, free that they can you know get shifted back or something like that so I think this is really um, a good um, safe thing um, to do to buy something like this and invest in a backrest um, thank you so much for watching don't forget to give us a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see more videos like this thank you so much goodbye See you next time.